This is the Wealth Junkie Show. Brought to you by CEO Capital Partners. Welcome, everybody. I'm Brandon Dukeman here with Will Harvey. And thank you so much for joining us for the Daily Wealth Junkies show. Every day, we're going to be bringing you interviews from successful business owners and entrepreneurs. These daily interviews are going to bring you inspiration, strategies, how-tos, and how-not-to-dos, and many more wealth-building secrets. And with this many interviews and successful stories, we have a pretty interesting and exciting mission to share with you. But first, before we share our mission. We're going to dive into our backgrounds just a little bit so you have a better understanding of where our mission is coming from. Uh, a little bit about me, Brandon. Uh, I, I chose the college route and I played college football for two years and I played as an offensive lineman, uh, 290 pounds. And at big boy, some point, big boy, definitely a big boy. Uh, and, I, and at some point I decided that I was going to focus on my health and education and I transferred to a different college. Uh, and at that point, uh, focused on my education there. Um, I never really was a fan of school, so I really just wanted to work. And at some point, I decided to apply for a police department in the area. And I got hired at 20 years old, where you have to be 21 as a police officer. Um, so I got hired as a police officer and paused school for a little while and, and was one of the youngest police officers on the department at the time. And throughout my police career, I finished college. Um, and one night I worked the night shifts and one night I had that kind of aha moment and decided to um, focus on creating financial freedom for myself. Um, spent hundreds of hours uh, working on that. Um, started a company here with Will called uh, CEO Capital Partners. Um, and that's kind of where we're, where I'm at today. Um, so, Will, why don't you talk to, talk to them a little bit about your story? Yeah, absolutely. So, I was always entrepreneurial growing up. I sold golf balls. And my interview is going to be on here in a later, later episode, and I'll dive more into that. But once I got into high school, I got into drugs and alcohol and carried that habit into college with me when I went to University of South Carolina and just got, got really bad and ultimately ended up dropping out of school so that I could get sober. So shortly after that, about a year and a half later, I walked on and played football at a school in Ohio. And that was before I had double hip surgery. And then I dropped out of school for a second time. So I'm a double college dropout and I never went back, never graduated. So after that, I got a family friend, got me into the mortgage business. I started working there. And my first year as a loan originator, I won the National Rookie of the Year Award. I was at a, a national company and won Rookie of the Year. It was pretty cool and was operating in the top 5% during my entire career there. And I was making, um, making good money. It was multiple six-figure stream of income. And I hated every second of it because I was W2'd and there was Working no- for somebody else. That's right. And there was no wealth created. So I, I set out on a mission very similar to what Brandon did. And I started buying real estate. I started buying houses around the DC area and ultimately realized that I was not going to be able to, to scale that as quickly as I would, would like. So I start, and this is while I was still working. So I started doing that and then I got focused on apartments. I realized that those are a quicker way to to get uh, financially free and, and create wealth. So I started doing that. Brandon and I came together. We knew each other in high school and we formed this company along with three others and it's called CEO Capital Partners. What we do is we put our own money in and we also raise capital and we buy large apartment complexes. So a uh, little, little while after that, I, I really set out on a mission and prepared and, 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 I, and, I, and I was able to, to walk away from my job and now I just do real estate full time. So it's, it's pretty cool. And that's all because of what I did when I first got started in business and is what our mission is on the show. So, and yeah. So, well, why don't you tell them a little bit about what our mission is for the show here? Yeah, absolutely, Brandon. So I'll, I'll just read our mission verbatim. So our mission is to share the stories of as many successful entrepreneurs as possible in hopes that our listeners can find that one individual whose story resonates with them and causes them to take life-changing action, which liberates them from the W-2 rat race. 
Our goal is to liberate a thousand individuals from the W2 rat race and live a life of wealth, however they choose to define it. So when I first got started in business, when I was working at the mortgage company, I interviewed, I, it wasn't a formal interview, but I took these guys out to lunch that were friends with my dad. My dad has been in business a long time and is a huge role model of mine. And he would introduce me to some guys that maybe, maybe they own rental properties, maybe they had started businesses and sold them. And I really looked up to these guys and I took them out to lunch pick their brain, ask them to tell their story. And that is what got me to be able to, to get into what I'm doing now and, and ultimately leave my job. So, and, and really set out on a, on a pursuit of, of wealth and, and financial freedom. So that's our mission here. Our mission is to, to interview these successful individuals and just get them talking, get them to tell their story. Some, some people that we're going to interview have, have started uh, they've, they've done uh, a startup with Elon Musk. We have another guy who, who is, uh, started a bed sheet company. He had no idea what to do. We're going to interview him in the future. And it, it's just really exciting to hear these, these guys' stories about what they, what they talk about, their trials, tribulations, and ultimately how they were able to, to have success. So, so Brandon, that's our, that's our mission. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about that. And for the listeners, if, if, any of these interviews resonate with you or there's something about the interview that you, you loved or didn't love, let us know. We want to, we want to be able to provide as much value as possible for you. And, and back on the value part of it, Will has created this awesome, awesome ebook that we have on our website and our website is www.wealthjunkies.com. And this is the five things to do when you hate your job and have that entrepreneurial itch. And I'm assuming if you're listening to this website, that is this podcast, You've got that entrepreneurial itch, so you need to download this this ebook. All you have to do is put your name in and your email, and you're going to get emailed the book. And in this this five things book, you're going to learn how to best seek advice, how to properly analyze your situation, how to get your finances in order, which is extremely important if you want to become a successful business owner or entrepreneur. Being task oriented and silencing that noise, and these are all from Will. Will has experienced all of this. He's great at explaining this. And, and I read this, this ebook at least once a week because it's, it's that good. So go to the website, put your name in and put your email in and you will receive a copy, a free copy. No, you don't have to pay anything other than your name and your email and you, you'll receive a copy of that. Yep. That's so, right. And, 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 and another thing with the value, we've also created a Facebook group, which I'll let, let Will talk a little bit about. Yeah, absolutely. So our, our Facebook group is designed to be a community based uh, environment where people are going on there and they're sharing stories, they're sharing successes, they're sharing failures, they're asking questions, everybody is contributing and adding value to each other. So that's the purpose of the Facebook group is to really help lift each other up when you have a mastermind of sorts that's always how you you uh learn to do new things and accomplish greater things that that than you could have on your own you know because we we have the information up in our head but everybody else around us have have different pieces of the puzzle that we don't have so when we all come together we get all those pieces and it's it's really it's really powerful so that's what the facebook group was intended to do and that's the the purpose behind it so definitely yep. go go join that. It's join it right now. Do it yeah, right it's, now. Yep. It's Facebook.com slash groups slash wealth junkies. And and you know, we're looking forward to hearing from you guys on there. We we will myself will be on there. Some of our advisors will be on there interacting with you guys, posting, you know, we're gonna try to put as much information as possible on that Facebook group so that way it, it provides value to you and and communicate with us as well. Um and to talk a little bit about the format of the show, the, you know, the most important part is, is these interviews. So each weekday, we are going to provide you with an interview. First off, starting on Mondays, we're going to provide you with what we call multifamily Mondays. And of course, we have to go back to our roots in the multifamily industry and provide you these multifamily uh, experts on the show. So that way, um, if you're interested in real estate, this is one of the best wealth building um, avenues in real estate. Oh, We're really a little bit really, biased. That's yeah, why we have Multi Family say, Monday. Right. And and we got to stick to our roots a little bit. And and that's kind of how we 
are creating success for ourselves. So, and other than that, Tuesday through Fridays are going to be regular interviews from all sorts of business owners and entrepreneurs. Saturdays, and, and this is the format for now. Once we get going, let us know how you how you like these uh, this format. We can change things around. Nothing set in stone here. But Saturdays we're going to do success. Uh, well, what was it? What, yeah. What so on Saturdays, I- Brandon, we're going to do recaps. So what we're going to do is we're going to recap the prior week's interviews. So each one we're going to give a high level bullet point summary of how the interview went, what their story was, and it's going to be all valuable information. And then we're also going to have our success takeaway from each one. So it's the biggest takeaway that we had from talking to that individual. So that's going to be on Saturdays. We're going to be giving those recaps. And then on Sunday, we're going to have a short episode on uh, a preview of the coming week's interviews. So we're going to give a really short preview of what's to come and you can listen to that and decide which ones which ones intrigue you maybe which ones don't and 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 kind of flag those those episodes as they come out so you can listen to them so that's yep. our uh that's our format for now yeah and for now for now and if you guys have any suggestions let us know um and, and on that for now that for now comment myself and will we're not experts in any of this we're not successful business owners just yet we're not you know multimillionaires or anything like that. And we're not going to try to portray to throughout these, <clears throat> these episodes here. You're going to hear us screw up. You're going to hear us. I'm an awe. You're going to hear us laugh. You're going to hear my dog barking in the background in some of these episodes. So <laughs> That's right. we are, we are real people just like you, but our goal is to share these interviews with as many people as possible and to inspire as many people as we can. So the, we are bringing the experts on me and will are not the experts. So that, don't, that's, that's exactly if we right. say things. If we say things, don't believe that we are trying to come off as experts. Yep. We're just trying to get the information out of the person that we're interviewing. And the goal is, is for you to get the value from them. So we're, we're not the experts. We're trying to talk to the experts and we're learning just as much as you are. So we're, we're, that's, that's another motivation behind it. I I'm asking questions because I want to know the answers to them. So absolutely. Yeah. It, it, it's exciting for all of us. And, and on that note, if there's anything that you guys want to hear on the show, any guests that you'd like to hear on the show, any questions that you'd like to be asked, contact us. We will, we will write back to you. We'll interact with you. Contact us on Facebook and our Facebook group. Con- go to our website, which is www.wealthjunkies.com. Scroll all the way down to the page. There's a contact us page. Fill that out. It'll go to myself or Will, and we'll we'll get in contact with you. Or email at info at wealthjunkies.com. And that, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. See, Brandon yeah. cleared his throat. Yeah, <laughs> normal people things. And email at info at wealthjunkies.com. That'll, we'll receive the email and we'll write back to you. We want to hear your feedback. We want to interact with you guys. Yeah. And we're, so. we're really excited about this. We're, we're excited to, 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 to add value. And we hope that that's exactly what we do. And, and please let us know how we can improve and reach out to us with any questions or anything that, that you want to hear, any type of guests that you want to listen to, if we can change things for the better and, and just, just let us know. We want to interact with everybody. So uh, we're really looking forward to this. Thank you so much for your time. And we'll see everybody tomorrow. Yeah, make sure you're subscribing to the show. You've been listening to the Daily Wealth Junkie Show, brought to you by CEO Capital Partners. CEO Capital Partners works with business owners and executives to build passive income through multifamily apartment syndications. For more information about how you can invest in quality multifamily real estate assets and build significant streams of passive income, visit us today at CEOCapitalPartners.com.